is Scotty Tucker, super smooth, and I am the voice of West Texas Wrestling, and we are welcoming you on this beautiful 605 on a Friday to the Slam Cast. Ladies and gentlemen, top to bottom, the card is stacked, so journey with me and the sauce to get all the exclusive commentary this week on Slam Cast. I'm sorry, but who the hell do you think you are? Um, <laughs> Scotty Tucker, super smooth. Uh, no, no, <laughs> they didn't no, no, tell no. you I was working with you this week? No, 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 no. That, that's not what I meant. I meant you just stole my monologue. I mean, it's bad enough that you people have me here in this stupid monkey suit for my 3D debut. And, and, and what is this about you working with me? I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, if you heard anything from Rocky this past week, he felt that, uh, he could use a little bit of super smooth on commentary to back you up, so maybe that'd be something he might want to discuss with him? Yeah, well, me and J-Rock don't want to talk about much anymore. But look, okay, you want to be, you want to be a part of the Slamcast, you want to, you, you want to be a part of, that's fine, whatever. Just remember, you're the analytics guy. I'm the cute, cuddly one that everybody remembers. You're Mike Tanay. I'm Don West. All righty, boss man. Well, I'm not too sure. Uh, all I know is I'm here to provide commentary, so let's just say you and I team up and get this cracked out. All right, it's about time we agreed on something. Let's get to the ring for some Top of Texas wrestling action. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your competitors first. In the corner of the line, he's coming to the ring this evening by medic number one. Coming to you today from your territorial state in Santa Fe, he is medic number two. And his opponent, in the corner of my left, he comes to you from Fenrir's Den. He is the West Texas Werewolf, Greg Goldberg! You're a referee in charge of the action. Medic 1 here, along with Medic 2. Unfortunately, Dr. Payne couldn't make it tonight. He's busy dealing with some maniacal business. He's got medic number two going against Greg Gary Lynn. And me, medic number one, going against the one and only Hobo Man, Jordan Caleb's. Uh, we will leave them in that ring, either barely breathing or not at all. And that's a promise. Strong words there from uh, medic number one. I'm still under the assumption that these guys are both just paid interns. The way these men. Hey, at are, this point, I know at this point out. I'm just trying to figure out what number we're on, boss man. I'm just trying to. I mean, we've had of, medic yeah, one, medic up. two, medic beard, medic the tall one. <laughs> at this point, brother, we're just gonna keep rolling men off. Oh, Caller noble tie up center of the ring here. I don't think this one's really going to be a technical. I think it's going to be a straight nitty-gritty type bra based on Gregory Lynn's style right there. Uh, oh. you, you talk about Gregory Lynn's style. This is, you know, he's not known for his wrestling prowess. He's more of a he's more of a brawler. I mean, we have seen him recently uh, more in those hardcore implements, but he's known to, you know, grapple with the best of them. Hey, indeed. Speaking of brawlers, where's his tag partner Hobo Man at? I figured since Mag Number One's out there strong on the outside, maybe good old Hobo grab himself a cold drink, come ringside to support Greg. But maybe Hobo's warming up for his match later on this evening. I don't know. Has he has he returned from Fillmore's yet? 
Have you seen him for uh, some wars? <laughs> but he asked me for a pre-show beer. I said, Bucks, man, I don't think Soft Daddy's going to be okay with that. i got to take an energy drink and get to this commentary. <laughs> Oh, nice headlock there by medic number two. Very yes, lanky, indeed. Mr. Medic number two. Yes, indeed. Working the head nicely. He's got him in the center of the ring. Good position by the ref as well. Makes it up. Oh, looks like a counter on the rise. There it is. Caught an elbow top in the middle of the ring. He's got a headlock on him as well. Good reverse. Oh, takeover. Headlock takeover. Nicely done. Center of the ring. You know, that's the most impactful part of the ring. Yes, indeed. Yes, Not indeed. The These gentlemen are working it nicely. No, no, no. I'm sure we'll see. Oh, oh. Got those head scissors in. See how Greg's... It is Meg too squeezing with all his mind. Let's see how Greg's going to recover here. Nice transition of the hips there. If you watch, Greg is weirdly calm right now. Is it just me or is oh. it weird hearing the fans chanting for Greg? After being against Little Greg bit. for so long. Oh, what is this exclamation point? Oh, hey, right back down to the headlock takeover. What a counter by Greg Boy Lynn. And that's it why. is a little weird there, Sauce, to hear them get chanted for him. It seemed like not long ago, Greg was not too liked by the West Texas fans out here. No, but I, I think his uh, recent hardcore upcomings have uh, really changed people's mind here. I mean, the man is... A former massacre champion, former tag team champion all over West Texas, and of course, the longest reigning Top of Texas junior heavyweight champion in Top of Texas history. Hey, hey, let's not take no credit away from his opponent, mate number two, though. I tell you, back in the locker room earlier, he asked me if I had any COVID vaccine. He scoffed at me when I didn't want to make an appointment. Something about check your health. I don't, I don't want to mess with any other mentors of Dr. Payne. Oh, speak well. Boy. I think Red, oh. Referee Red just kind of let that one go. What is he doing? Oh, no. Mag number one working the heel, though. I, I tell you, he's out there on the outside. He's going to be an enforcer. That's why Hobo could have helped. Wait, well, it's all good. Greg's going to bounce back recover. Nice rope break right there. Referee to one, two, three, three count. Hey, whoa. Got a five to work. He's getting a little close there by medic number two. Well, I, I think we need to also explain here. Uh, it looks like Greg's going to, well, no, I guess he's not going to go to the outside. Uh, new rules implemented by our generous owner, Mr. Jack Logan. Before we get this One, two count. Two, oh, two count, two count, solid two count. Yes, sir. Continue what you were saying. Sorry. But apparently, uh, love on the outside is now a 20 count. Hey, back to hey, old school rules. See, see, I like that. I like that, Jack Logan. That's very old school, traditional class. Day. But the bottle break, I just maybe don't want to get a bottle over my head there. So we're just uh, gonna keep our our comments very minimal here. As yeah, Jack goes in the corner. Uh, no, back. Oh, oh my God. Face Christ. wash, nice. That man got booted halfway back to the mental institution as Greg goes in for the pitfall. Looks like a one, a two, two count by medic number two kicking out there. The determination in these medics is getting getting a little too over the top. Well, I mean, technically the medics are tag team champions. I, I highly doubt these two were those medics that were. I know for a fact they weren't because Dr. Payne was one half of those tag team champions. Wait, Dr. Payne was a medic? Dr. Payne started out as a medic. Oh, you're breaking breaking all my rules today, boss. Uh, my head is exploding. Well, I, I've talked about no. it. Watch the product, young man. Watch the product. But, hey, I'm watching the product. I just can't tell the difference. The masks are spooky, and they keep trying to check my vitals. Hopefully I have to draw some blood. I'm not okay with it. I just don't surround myself with it. As we see a nice... Nice suplex takeover in the center of the ring. Medic number two hitting the gains in the gym. Get him down up, working the neck. Medic one on the outside still doesn't seem to impress with Medic two's performance. I'm, I wonder if there's a little bit of tension there. Maybe Medic one wants to get in for a fight himself. Well, I mean, we will see him in action here later on against Jordan Caleb. That one was already I'm excited for that us. one. 
Close your tab, ladies and gentlemen, and get down. Hobo Man's ready to party, and the medic's got a checkup waiting for him. As we're back in the center of the ring, boot to the gut. Oh, to the outside. Now oh, boy. we're going to learn that 20 count. It's All supposed right, to get comes, these guys, implemented. supposed to give these guys more time to, you know, if they want to show some love to the crowd out there, they can, but... I, I, I don't know. Hey, top of Texas Faithful. Top of Texas Faithful front row at the Russell Plex. Nothing better than working with them a little bit. Yeah, we, we love the Top of Texas family. But, I mean, I look, that is concrete out there. Oh, one. Oh, sorry. What? Oh, two count right there. Gregory Lee getting the shoulder up. But that is concrete out there, and I know it's concrete because... Hey, there used to be a carpet underneath all that, or on top of all that. Just because I well, live inside of a modem carpet doesn't... through in a tw You live in a computer? Yeah, I'm in a computer box, sir. <laughs> but it's a pleasure doing commentary. There's a nice clothesline rebound off the rope. Medic number two showing little flashes of cruiserweight divisions back in the day. I wonder if they watched it in a mental institution at all. You know, some old, some old Eddie Guerrero, some flavor on that clothesline. I don't know. I, I do know that Thursday is usually pudding day over there at the mental institution. Pudding day, bro. Pudding but day. hey, <laughs> medic, don't don't knock the pudding day. Oh, hey. oh, stunner in the center. Gregory Lynn pulling out all the stops. Medic number two is stunned. Is he gonna go? Uh, Red gonna... genuinely lost. Oh, oh. Okay, he's down. Spin of the ring. Greg stunned him. And he's trying to climb up red. I I would not try to climb up oh, red. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. Of Whoa. Ref, of course. Medic turns. Here it comes. Greg is outnumbered. Head off the, oh, off the ring apron. Medic number one is viciously attacking Greg, and the ref is just blinded. Medic number two, of course. Here comes the plan. Here, I guarantee you. Here it is. One. Two, no, and that's, oh, a, that's only a two baby. count, sir. Oh, medic two dude, seems Bob, to be the more you. violent of these guys. Or medic one, I'm sorry. I, I, you know what? Jordan Caleb's has a point. I, I understand that they're both, you know, they're different sizes and whatnot, but you, you, you lose count with how many different medics there are and whatnot. Yeah, I'm just waiting on the medic number 45 to come out and hit a drop kick as we see a we see a suplex maneuver in the center of the ring. Greg nope. punching him in the stomach, getting out of it. See the transition, Greg. Oh, nice count for the suplex. Oh, Greg is feeling it. Getting back into it. Oh, both gentlemen down, center of the ring. See how this escalates from here. Give a shout out to our, our wonderful Nancy Smith. Over there in the corner again, photography always for Top of Texas. We appreciate you, Miss Nancy. Wonder Horse Photography. Or no, I'm sorry, Lightning. Yes, you indeed. Know what? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is what happens like when, when you, you live inside a computer box. They say the internet hey. doesn't lie. I can tell you that's a lie. I can tell hey, you that. It's okay. <laughs> All right, we see Greg powered up back in the corner. She's about to have, oh, spinning back elbow right there. Oh, looks like he's coming back into a clothesline. Diving clothesline on Medic 2. Oh, Greg, cross Diving body. cross body. Good uh, Is that werewolf coming back out? Showed Rampage Where, Jackson Richard? 2009. Release the wolf, Greg. Release the wolf. Uh, it looks like he's releasing <laughs> it right now. leave that oh. man alone. Oh, of course. Hey, Brad. Ref turning the back. Uh, Medic number one taking advantage of it. Greg is really facing the obstacles at this point. Greg should have just asked for a two-on-one. Oh, Man, Ref if we went to the five count. Medic two is taking advantage of it, being very aggressive this evening. Yeah, uh, medic number one back on the assault. I, I, I think <sighs> Medic one here is the more aggressive. I think he already has the permanent uh, contract. He doesn't have to worry about his internship. I feel for Hobo Man later this evening. It seems like Medic One is just in a very, very bad mood. He said Thursday was pudding days. I guess Saturdays must be beef stew. Oh, man is mad. Neckbreaker. Nice. I haven't seen a sweet neckbreaker like that in years, so. Mm. That one was a little close there.
Oh, it looks like medic number two is trying to oh. console. Or right. Get some... We got to be careful. I don't know if you've seen last week the switch of root thing. I can't get in with him. That ref is making sure I, he's there, but I see him. I, I called the twin magic. I saw the twin oh, magic. Oh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That is some sneaky, sneaky work that only an evil doctor could plan out with his with his medics. I just, I don't understand. As Greg needs oh. to go in with a half attack. In the corner, the crowd loves it. Eating it up as the West Texan werewolf looks to get everybody to start to sway with him uh, this evening. Excuse me. He, did he just look up? up. He just oh. gave him that barefoot shot. Oh. 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 <laughs> Diving elbow off the ring apron slides back in. What's he going for now? He's got him. Greg sees blood in the water. Oh, and oh. DDT. <laughs> there it is. One. Two and three, ring the bell. Gregory Lynn, impressive this evening, is match number two. Man, it is always nice to see somebody take over the uh, medics like that and to get a victory from Mr. Gregory Lynn. It looks like they're going to need an evaluation at the end of this fight. It's always good to see the tables turn on the patients here for a moment. I'm Misfit, the one who doesn't belong, and this is Slam. Switcheroo, the old one too. You all got masks, you all look alike, even though one's a little thicker than the other. Well, Dr. Payne is sending one of yous out to get me this week, one on one. No switcheroos. We'll see. We'll see if the rumors are true that they're all, you know, eunuchs. Let's see if you do have the junk to step in one on one with me. So, I mean, I know it's YouTube and all, but are we. I guess, you know, it's past the five-minute mark, so we can say stuff like that now. I, I mean, at this point, I'm guessing that. I know, being around Hobo Man has taught me two things. Now we're going to get monetized, and I'm running up a high tab over there at Fillmore's. I'm just kind of... <laughs> it's just... But nonetheless, Hobo Man, let's just see the intoxication against the medic. Maybe he's got a nice IV for the Hobo Man this evening, but... I don't know. <laughs> Out clearly behind the Hoboman. And hey, I mean, Hoboman and Greg. And I mean, it makes sense. Hoboman, a triple crown champion here. Former Panhandle hey, champion. Man's pretty... Former heavyweight champion. Former tag team champion. Here on top of Texas. I've seen a video. I've seen a video of the pass of this man and another. Another top of Texas favorite, Handgun Dan, doing the robot. The man's a legend, done it all. <laughs> no, we're talking Working some Working it CG. up right here. We're talking some CGC hey. days. I remember Hey, those. brother, throw it, a, throw it back just like a good old collar and double time. We got it. He's back in the medic number one into that corner. Referee's going to implement that five count. Hobo man getting a little more aggressive than usual. Watch it, boss man. Five count for DQ. Get it off there, maybe the jack's no, kicking you in, know forgetting what? how to count, you know? You know what? 
I I'm surprised that Jordan Caleb did that clean, uh, clean uh, escape there because Jordan, for the most part, is not known as a, quote, good guy. It it's only been reason that he's, you know, joined in with the fans. Hey, I don't know. I feel like everybody gives the hobo a bad rep. Let's back him up again for a rep. Uh, I don't out. know. You, Look at him trying to give him hope. Have you talked to Jay mm. Luck? A ask him about being locked up in a basement and about a certain goblin. I'm pretty sure Jay Rock oh. has some stories. Oh. <laughs> let's uh, let's avoid the goblin and get back to the get back to the action here. It looks like they're building up again for another call and double time. Put a couple of tests of strength. Gentlemen filling each other out, getting the atmosphere of the match. Looks like we're going to go go, back another big it. one in the middle. There we are. Let's see who's going to get the best. Ooh, oh, headlock. Headlock. Uh oh. I, I, I think we're about to oh. see it. Yep, I heard it. Time for Jordan Caleb's classic. Oh, maybe not. Oh, never mind. Headbutt. Oh, big old head, but swinging down is match number one. Feels a little doozy. Maybe a couple concussion syndrome. Donald <laughs> Jordan Caleb's head on the map is Medic. Medic had enough awareness to roll out of the way there. Strongest head in the game, you know. I, I, I know a certain Maki Ito may say that she has it, but no, nah, it's, it's got to be Jordan Caleb's right next to uh, any uh, Samoan. It's got to be Jordan Caleb with the strongest head in the game. Oh, the double boot to the mush of Medic number one. Back up against the ropes, feeling it. Oh, nice. Shoulder the midsection in the corner. Tanya Hobo for being a man of the people out here working the crowd and the alcohol. Still got a good sense of... Oh, <laughs> God bless. Well, it it courses through, man. Do we know what his drink of choice is tonight? Because I know last week he had the nice... Well, never mind. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, screaming for the monkey flip counter. Hobo man into the corner. Oh, medic number one. Nevertheless, right back on the attack. Wasting no time. Oh, back to the stomach. The sledgehammer hit stomach of the hobo man. So you told me keep up. I keep up. <laughs> oh, Hobo Still feeling the effects of the sledgehammer shots And Medic takes advantage of that this evening Going in there and trying to maybe rip him out a couple ribs To bring back to Dr. Payne's the trophy while he's on his journey You know, I, I'm sure Dr. Payne would love nothing more than Jordan Caleb back on his medical table See, I don't get a, that guy, It was man. literally just a year ago to the date that he had literally chloroformed Jordan Caleb's and pretty much put him in a coma. Well, I see why Hobo Man has a little bit of, uh, you know, liquid courage and past rage in here as he's throwing these vicious headbutts. And medic number one, is he just got a real back in the corner, could be going for it again. Looks like we might get to potential see it this time. Oh, oh. The, oh the counter shoulder into the post. That's an old school pose. That's not. That's not one of your fancy LED ones with the plastic around it. No, that's a still pose. I think you find those in Connecticut. I don't know. <laughs> you know what you find? I forget, here in man. I... You know what you find here in Texas? Apparently, you get dust in your eye when you're wearing a mask with cover over your eyes. Oh boy! One, two, two count on the inside. Up. Stand that. I figured the mask, if they're going to have a COVID proof mask to make sure you know they're okay, I figured the doctor would be able to afford some, some masks and <laughs> some eyes that had some filters for these medics, but apparently not. The West Texas dust getting in the eyes of them both. Oh, uh, West Texas dust. I, I'm glad I don't have to deal with that in, in the internet. All I got to deal with is spam. I'm telling you. <laughs> you keep the spam emails, I'll keep the hot Texas wind. <laughs> Big kick there, right to the ribs again. Going, targeting oh, like those wonder... ribs. 
Another two count. Hobo man staying in Brazilian. I know the ribs have got to be working and hurting them a little bit. Medic number one showing no mercy to him as we're rolling out to the outside here. Hobo man jerks with the end. Oh, medic number two. Some cheap shots to the ribs again. Never the craft. It looks like Hobo's in the same situation Greg was in the two on one earlier this evening. Yep. yep. But but we've talked. Like, I've talked about this before. It's gonna take a lot to put Hoberman down. He he comes in here week in week out, literally puts everything on the line. I I don't think you're gonna find anybody tougher than Hoberman Jordan Caleb. I watched Hobo Man fight an alligator with a fifth of rum back in the back alleys of Florida when I was four. Wild set of circumstances. I feel like that was written yeah. for me by Hobo Man. Yeah, I'm And I wasn't sure. paid just Hold $5 on. to say it. <laughs> Hobo Man didn't totally tell me to read that on live commentary with a bribe of $5 and a coupon for 25% off my beer of choice. And it's probably a shot of rum. I, I saw the... Uh... The outtakes from earlier this week. Ah, he told you about the interview. Oh boy. Oh me. Oh my. Hobo man. As he's over here telling stories about me. One, two, three, and four. Oh man, going in for five headbutts before Medic cuts him off early. But still, four headbutts nonetheless. As both men drop to the canvas. Yeah, but that that's that's a lot less than what Jordan Caleb's usually throws out there during that. You're looking at 13, 14, 20. I, I don't know. How, how, oh, many, me, oh my. how many rings of Cesaro do we have now? <laughs> That's trademarked. <laughs> we can't. Uh, please I, can, fix, I, I know that a hobo, man. We don't know who I'm talking about. I could be talking about the guy from down the street. Valid point. You're a man in a computer that probably ain't got to face the lawsuit. So us legal men out here just to keep our mouths shut. That's Hobo with a mean right hand, knocking Medic number one back into the corner. Oh, no, setting up for a Lariat. Can we see it? Oh, solid impact. Big, solid Lariat. You calling for yeah, it? Uh, the Hobo Man now becoming the Wild Man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is he calling for another? Oh. Headbutt. God, God. You guys, big, solid headbutt by the Hobo Man. He backs in. Oh, the crowd's behind him feeling the Hobo this evening. Hobo Maniacs running wild. Oh, knocks Medic number one straight to the ground. Hobo Man with that aggression coming out. Can we see it? Is he setting up for it? I love it when he yells this. We got to yell it with him. We got to just get ready. Monkey Flay. He's going to hit him. Can it be? Open over. Oh, beautiful monkey flip by the Hobo Man. Has he got enough power in him to get back to that pinfall? Uh, yeah, because he's not the capitalizing on it. He's getting there. He's working. Up. Get that cover, Hobo. Here it goes. There it is. One, two. The Whoa! <laughs> Medic number one. Medic one able to kick out there. Uh-oh. Uh hey, oh I think it's time to call for your favorite superhero. Oh. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Uh, maybe not. He's having a hard time climbing up there. Okay, he's up. Up on Brett's rope. See so you can make oh whoa hey, on the apron. Rev, get him off. Oh man. Oh man distracted over here by Man Trying number two. Oh, oh hey, get him into the roll-up. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, come on. Medic number one with a roll-up to get Jordan Galen's off guard. I'm not gonna lie, well played by the medics, but Hobo Man should have had his head on the swivel. Oh, and you see they're getting out of there as soon as they can, which is probably... Look at the ref. The ref is even lost. Sabadi, Koisu, Sean Lau, and you are watching Slamcast. Be loud. Be proud.
I'm going to introduce the competitors first. In the corner of my right, he comes to you today from Shreveport, Louisiana. He is the Slayer Poet, Donovan Pierce. And in the corner of my left, he's from the Astro Play. He is Bravos. Tonight at the top of Texas Wrestling, Slam Pull will go one one with Dragon Straw. He claims to be a luchador from the future, but after tonight he'll be nothing but the past. You can see me, Dalvin Pierce, whoop up on him on Slamcast. Man of few words, Donovan Pierce. Both of these men making debuts here tonight. And hey, I'm, coming in from the DFW area, highly recommended. I'm excited to watch both these men tangle up this evening. Dragging a straw out here, full, full mask. I enjoy the Lucha Libre heritage behind it. That is a nice getup, I will say. I, 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 I like this costume. It's a, actually original compared to some of the luchadors that we've had, quote, come through here. Yeah, it's really more original than a lot of them. Hey, I get it. Let's see how original it would be compared to the original masterpiece that is the slam poet this evening. As these two gentlemen getting a little feel out of each other, maybe a little little test of the crowd, see who the crowd favorite is. Both gentlemen not too familiar with the Amarillo area, see who the crowd's feeling a little more. Uh, they're more feeling Dragon Astral here, who's, uh, you know, got, like you uh, said, that Lucha uh, heritage. And Big pop for Dragon it. as he gets on the top rope. Throw it in the face of Donovan a little bit here. See if Donovan's going to retaliate. Hey, looks like he will. He oh. looked for the slam. Oh, they are not behind uh, the slam poet by any means. Did he make somebody I mad? Didn't, I didn't know we had a 7 Eleven here because he's about as cold as a slushy right now. <laughs> ah, insert the insert the drum jump gag there, boss man. Good call out. As we look here to see, all right. Oh, oh, he's shushing everybody. Hey, another solid pop for the man. He's got a market out here. We just gotta find him maybe a tag partner. And up and no. Oh, they are, at they this are point. not. <laughs> For Donovan Pierce here tonight. Hey, Donovan Pierce is about his business, so maybe these people just don't know how to relate, but nonetheless, let's let the action speak for itself. Oh, there it is. A little bit of that aggression coming out of the slam poet this evening. Maybe top of Texas fans started getting a little bitter on him. As we look for a elbow a collar and elbow tie up in the no, center. Oh, we're looking oh. for Shine of, sign of respect. Hey, coat of honor there. Shake on it. Oh, oh, Donovan Pierce, Sidekick. no respect, no Ooh. respect at all for a straw. Oh, there we go, headlock. Taking him nice and slow. Probably a good idea. I'm looking for this one to be very technical on the side of Donovan Pierce. Ooh. Oh, oh, there it goes. Shoulder nice. block. All right, here comes the up and under. Oh, counter back, shoots him off the ropes. Duck under again. Herkorana takeover looks like there. Oh, beautifully executed by a straw. Gets back in the corner. Runs up on Pierce. Oh, diving clothesline. Big splash. Oh, he's got he's got him in his sights. Never mind. Oh, got him out of the ring. Oh, dragon caught himself. Oh. Nice counter forearm. What's going to happen here? Looks like Dragoon is going for some offense. Oh, beautiful duck under. Drop kick, solid center of the ring. This man looking impressive in his top of Texas debut. Coming to Amarillo, feeling a little bit spunky, ready to make a name for himself. Uh, he Can looks he be? Like he's going to be going into the splash. Up. Never mind. Ooh, slipped up the slam poet. Not one for the games. Oh, back first. This is a hard part of the apron. Two times. Man's taking no mercy on his straw. There we are, throws him back into the ring. Oh, mocking the referee's 20 count this evening. The man's making a game out of this. 
Rolls back out to get the rest count, bringing it back outside. Oh. And that's what we were talking about is that that uh, 20 count. Our 20 count seems a bit excessive. It gives gentlemen time to get creative on the outside as you see Donovan with the high knees knocking Dragoon to the floor. Well, and this is only this is Red's what second time as a as the full ref for the night, I believe. Uh, I'm giving it to him. I believe Parker is um, out of town this week. I believe so. As far as I got told, Parker Parker went over there to go ref a couple other. He'll be with us sometime again soon. But Red on full duty this evening. Looks like he's keeping up well as we get a big chop. Donovan's got Dragoon up against the ropes. Back up in the corner now as we see Dragoon fighting back. Solid jabs to the midsection. Oh, no, that's a European. <laughs> uppercut. That's a solid one. Well, that make Davey Boy so as we got the head. Head. I was going to say, you, that, it's not Texas unless you stomp a muddle. Oh. Hey. He's, Stop he's a mud hole it. and do your dance. He's getting it. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna say that. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Oh, are, are are we going uh Jet Li here? Be water? That man said, "Whoa, whoa, 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 sir!" The feet shuffle. Respect the culture, Muhammad Ali. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, the slam poet. Looking to tell his story at the expense of Dragon to Straw this evening as a straw fights back with solid forearms to the jaw, backing him up. I don't know, maybe maybe he was being more like Dad from uh, Greater Clashing. Just beating him up like uh, Matt Watson. <laughs> hey. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good $30 that I donated to Fansley. Hey, it works as you see both men in the center of the ring. Donovan catches him off guard as Dragoon slides back under. The refs letting these gentlemen get away with a lot of action, which we enjoy. Gives them more time to see who the better man is as both men are looking to make a name for themselves in Amarillo. Looks like got, the fans okay, are trying to say, get back behind. What has he got planned here? He's <laughs> just kind of like frozen in time. <laughs> he took a second to think. He moves at the beat of his own drum. Well, Give the man the space to work. He with the sole of his own foot. So. <laughs> Dragoon tasting shoe. As this man's over here yelling at fans here at the top of Texas Wrestle Flag this evening. Really not behind the slam poet. People in the front row getting their VIP money worth. Because they get to yell at the slam oh, poet. Oh, 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 oh. Coming out the corner. God bless a solid chopping some forearms. Donovan Pierce looks to fight back. Solid boot to the midsection. Backs him up. Snapmare. There we go. Yeah. Snapmare take. Oh, mm. solid. Bang. Right to the midsection of the back. Kicks to the chest. Oh, making fun of him as he kicks him. The blatant disrespect. Well, he said he was going to make him a thing of the past. Oh. And you know what? It looks like that may be happening right here, right now. He's trying to take a dragon fossil home with him back to DFW here tonight in Amarillo. Uh -oh. Oh. oh. Solid. Solid catch. Ducks. Ducks oh. underneath another strike. Oh. <laughs> Chop to the. Oh. 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 Looks like he can't get him up. You feeling the pain a little Ooh. bit from a really solid kick back to the chest. As that man is dancing this guy in the is center just of the ring. Yeah, you know, I haven't seen dancing like that since uh, Mr. Human Tornado. Beautiful moves as we see him get back, back into the middle with a solid hand. Overhand punch to the top of the head. Go look him up. He's, his name is uh, El Snowflake on uh, Macho Li or Nacho Libre. El Snowflake. El Snowflake, played by the human. Boss well, man, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember all these things we have going on in the ring as both men down in the center with a headlock. 
I, working I giving, back up to position. I was giving him credit. <laughs> Arvin Pierce coming in, but now Dragoon trying to fight back. Off the rope. Never mind. Oh, boot to the midsection. Seems like Donovan has accounted for everything this oh, evening. Dragoon can throw at him as he tells the man, eat the foot. Uh, and there we hear Richard. Of course, he can't have fun. Uh, <laughs> hey, leave Richard be. Richard and his 12-pack are okay with me. Well, as long as he shows up. <laughs> you, you're giving him... Way too much credit that that's the only alcohol he has. Hey, I feel like a 12 pack is being generous as a get back in. Looks like Donovan going in for a suplex. Ooh. Solid stab suplex. God, Ooh, he me. Enter the ring. He may have spiked his ankles on that one. That, that does not feel good. Donovan talking directly into our camera lady, Miss Nancy Smith. I need more photography. See, I remembered this time. Hey, there you go. Hey, it took it took me a second as well. I've goofed it a time or two as well. Rumor is it's the Plex, but you'd only know if you've been there live. Uh, I've messed up the national anthem a couple times too, but that's a rumor you have to see for yourself if you're there live. But as we see back, oh, stupid. oh, back off oh, the ropes. Watch out for the staircase over there, gentlemen. Uh -huh. Oh, good counter. I can Good, two, three, three forearms, four forearms. Oh, oh no, 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 yeah, Donovan was looking to read one of his favorite lines from his favorite movie, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Steps. So he was looking to counter it out and get Dragon back in that ring. Uh, I told you, sir. You're Tanae. I'm Don West. I make the funny Hey, <laughs> Hey, both, man, both of us got to get some cheap pops here. Uh -oh. As you see Donovan working the ref, getting a little technical back and forth, Ooh. maybe jabbing with him as a beat to the press. Looks like he's lining him up. Bouncing off. Ooh, Dragoon. Beautiful goodbye. counter. Splash it off. Oh. Suicide okay. dive. Yeah. Ah. Straight through the middle rope, right into Donovan Pierce's face. Dragoon proving he's still in this fight as both men got the 20 count to work with on the outside. Uh, if I were these men, though, I would be glad that they didn't hit that. Uh, I mean, I would probably want the, uh, the safety of that barricade, but at the same time, I wouldn't want the fine from hitting that barricade. I got a fine? What's the fine? Uh, you, you, we're, we're not supposed to actually name out numbers here. I, I can tell you there's a lot oh. of zeros involved. But well, that, that's, that's, that's too many zeros for me to want to know anymore. It's both men back in the ring. Looking at a test strength here, getting back up. Let's say three zeros is Both gentlemen taking a lot of punishment. Uh, <laughs> right. Good job, Dragoon, on the self control as both men exchanging blows. Sitting in the ring, telling him to bring it. These two gentlemen showing out for oh. the DFW area here at top of Texas. We're glad to have them as another hand by Dragoon of Straw. These guys, guys have just been going at it nonstop. Over 10 minutes now. At least. This is the type of action. This is the type of action you're to expect from Top of Texas. Top of Texas is a place people want to make a name for themselves, and these two gentlemen are no exception. As we see Dragoon going back on the offense, dangerous chops to the chest. Well, you talk about these guys wanting to make a name for themselves coming out from the DFW area. You know, almost everybody in the West Texas area, whether they want to admit it or not, have grinded their teeth here in Top of Texas wrestling. Whether it be for these doors are yeah. sacred ground, Sauce. These oh. doors are sacred ground. It's a pleasure to always see the new competition is Donovan back up to his feet well, in spectacular see, fashion. You talk about new competition, you know. It's only been recent that we've gotten so much new competition. Everybody 
is literally wanting to make a name for themselves here in top of Texas, making wanting to you know come through the West Texas area. We're bringing West Texas wrestling back on the map, and I mean, it, it just makes sense when you want to make your name here on the Slamcast. I'm telling you, Fastest the temperatures in Texas program. out here, you might not. Hey, we're getting there. The temperatures outside, you might not be able to feel them, Sauce Man. The temperatures outside are hot, but the action and the competition at top of Texas is even hotter, and everybody's starting to realize. As Donovan working back over with a headlock, headlock takeover, center of the ring again, working the neck of Draguna Straw. Referee Red right there, and you know what? Good on him. This is his third match of the evening. By this point, I would be winded and probably sitting out there with Miss Nancy. Again, talk, talk to Jay Rock. He, he has some stories. He is the one who trained Parker. That man, Jay Rock, is a man of mystery. I seen him as if he was going to pick up his phone earlier, and he just said, nope, really loudly as I was rehearsing. But uh, I don't know. The man seems busy. Dude, we, we, we're not going to talk about oh. that. Ooh, solid Ooh. right hand. Is Draguna Straw back on the I offense think as well? Both got These each gentlemen. Other there. These gentlemen are not giving an ounce to either man here. Back and forth physical action here. Well, Off the ropes. Uh, oh, Dragoon looks like he got a little clipped with the top of the elbow there. Donovan may be a little delirious from some of the head kicks. Maybe overcoordinated that strike, but nonetheless got him on his back. The purpose has been completed. Yeah, that's not good if you get clipped with an elbow. The elbow is designed to cut. I've I've heard I've seen the the damage that an elbow can do to somebody's face and somebody's forehead. It's not pretty. A little big so the mask there. maybe providing there a sense of relief for the shot, maybe to ease the blow as we see back elbows in the fireman's carry position as Dragoon. Oh German! Oh no! no Donovan German, has a counter yet. back elbows of his own. Back elbows of his own. Dragoon going for it. Oh, another solid back elbow. Donovan looks to retaliate here with a German, German of his own. Suplex. Nope. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice oh, roll, roll through. Never mind. Oh, here it is. Dragoon oh, has struck chaos theory on the back of his neck. <laughs> Check the pulse of the slam oh. poet. That landing could not have been any more gruesome. God bless. As both men have a tank count to their feet. I'm glad the you guys don't have a have his monitor on me on this time. one because my heart just oh. rocketed from seeing that. That is, that was nasty. God. Speaking of nasty, nasty there's Rose with that clicker. I love Rose, but that clicker's got to go. Big Ooh, solid. There. Coming out the corner. Dragoon, I saw firing up. Looking to get the momentum back this evening. Uh-oh. Fisherman suplex nicely done. But only gets the two count for that one. Dragon Astral does not know. It looks like he's wondering what he's got to do. Is he calling for a springboard? Not 100% sure. Both these gentlemen, little, little hesitant, throwing their best shots at one another. Let's see what else they have to offer. Uh oh. Dragon Astral setting up for something. Firing up here. Donovan, I don't know where he's at. Kick to the midsection, grabs him in. Looks like we can get a suplex here. Another oh. fisherman, nope, never mind. Oh, counter. That's a Harlem sidekick. Oh. Harlem sidekick. Beautifully Grow up done Hall of Famer Stevie Ray. That's the Harlem sidekick. Beautiful, beautiful tribute to Houston's own. What a beautiful jumping sidekick. 
by the Slam Poet. Draguna Straw looks rocked. Does this be time for the Slam Poet to look to capitalize and finish off his performance this yeah. evening? It would make sense for the slam poet to get the win here on the slam cast. There he is. He's Five minutes up. carry. Here we go. What's he going for now? Nope. Oh, Dragoon, beautiful counter. Got him up. Oh! oh. <laughs> no. you know, Straight dude. down. One, two, oh, and that's three. And him home. Michinoku for the win. Dragoon is straw for all the, all the controversy with the W this evening. I wouldn't say controversy. Let me say adversity. My apologies. Now he got the victory. That there, there's no controversy there. You drop somebody on your net on their neck, you know. And he didn't only do it once. He dropped him on it twice. Once with that chaos theory, and then once again right there with the Michinoku driver. That roll through German, beautifully executed overhead throw, the landing. Not too ideal for the slam poet as it seemed to dim the lights on his poet show this evening as Dragon of Straw. Hey, out here embracing the people of Time of Texas after a huge win this evening. I'm Keith Tiny. I'm your Top of Texas Bunkhouse Champion, and you are watching Top of Texas Slamcast. Amarillo, Texas rejoice because Levi Lucas has finally arrived at WrestlePlex and I am going one on one with Mike James and he is going to need an actual miracle to beat me. So just in case you're not able to make it tonight, I'll see you on the Slamcast when I beat up the miracle Mike James. Levi Lucas, uh, apparently he is not very... Happy with Mr. Miracle Mike James. I don't understand, man. I get it coming in. DFW gentlemen this evening looking to make a name. I don't know. Miracle might not be the one to push this evening as we see both these gentlemen. Oh, no. Getting the feel of each other wanna, in the center. You don't oh. want to push Miracle Mike James. Oh, nice. A little bit of an aggressive fire and elbow tie up. Miracle backs him up into the corner. Got the referee's five count to work with. I know Miracle, a lot of frustration these last couple weeks with continuous losses here at South of Texas, looking to get back in the win column. Yeah, he has, he's he been on that losing streak 3-0-3 oh right now here in top of Texas. Hey, it's all good. The heat's on. Everything's good. The pressure, these lights. Let's see what happens. There's always an opportunity for a win. As we see him tied back up in the center of the ring, backs him back into that corner. Oh, Levi with a turnaround, showing a little bit of strike there, letting Miracle know that, hey, he is no pushover either. Exclusive no, does, looking to back he up. Have some, he does have some height, and he's, you saw that. He, Miracle Mike James trying to get some, uh, trying to regain some leverage there by climbing up onto the turnbuckle there. It's all good, calling every tie up. Mike can hold his own. Miracle Mike James out here, full strength. Both these gentlemen showing that they're not ready to give an ounce to either one. This is going to be highly competitive. 
Well, both of these men are very, very well, well-traveled veterans here. We know for sure Mike James is well over a decade in the business. Made his start in Arizona. And oh, beautiful takedown! One dog, oh, one count. Two count. Ref called a the, two count. I apologize. I didn't see the hand. I didn't either. You know, the fact that Miracle Mike James, his first match in Texas was here at Top of Texas Wrestling, and he's made Top of Texas his home while he's here in Texas, it it, it, it just goes to show you why people are wanting to make Top of Texas the place to be. We're bringing back West Texas Wrestling, baby. I'm telling you, Top of Texas heating up. As you see here, both gentlemen not giving an out. Both of them pretty much in a stalemate here. Let's see who starts to get the upper hand. Call it elbow again, center of the ring. It's like two young bulls back on the prey. Both gentlemen looking to get up in the wind call and make a name oh. out here. It's Levi Lucas with a drop kick putting Mike James on notice oh, for a moment. Here. That was a drop he kick to the thigh. You, you don't drop kick somebody in the thigh. Hey, he's just trying to give him a little taste of what he's got to offer here. Mr. Exclusive looking to work on the Miracle as we see him launch him yep. off the rope. Oh. Here we go. Miracle with a knockdown. Oh, quick over. Levi back up. Knockdown of his own. Back up for the cover. Gets a no count there. Both these gentlemen both know each other pretty well. They both oh, here it away. is. Arm drag. Oh, here it goes. Levi oh. with one of his own arm drag. Oh. Deep, oh, back elbow, my miracle snapmare takeover. Come on, Mike. See, oh, miracle with a kick to the stern of a forearm, forearm to the side of the head. Levi, oh, oh. back, oh, miracle counters with a kick to the face of his that own. That was a legit Watching kick him to the back face off the there. ropes. Miracle's taking okay. no oh. work. Oh, oh. to the back. Oh. Oh. oh, miracle like Spider Man there, landing on a knee in the feet as he still shoots Levi off the rope. Oh, got him in position. Well, dial it up. Action this evening. 619. Off the ropes. Miracle going to drop, drop it. The no, that's oh, not drop hey. the dot. No, that's not But still. Springboard front splash for a solid two count this evening. Levi nice. looks a little bit shit. Maybe he underestimated the Miracle this evening. Nice little tope there. Miracle Mike James, He's he's been in the two since he's, you know, he's gotten here. He, he knows he deserves this win, and... He's going to do anything to get it. But I think Levi Lucas oh, is Levi going to do a little Lucas bit more. Looking for an exploder. Oh, no. Oh, got Miracle up. Oh, Miracle with a counter. Oh, Levi catches himself. Oh, Miracle oh. Off, off the ring post. Miracle head first. You heard the smack. Levi with a, Levi with a little bit of situational awareness to be able to duck the Miracle right there. Send him face first in the ring pole. Working okay. the ref tail the ref he he rolled in and rolled out that that's a reset if i'm not mistaken that um, that's what it's supposed to be but i guess the 20 count they're they're not resetting the count i don't know hey regardless oh, the count is oh, 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 levi slamming miracle hard yeah. on the concrete to the outside miracle's filling every out back. Of his back he's gonna be filling that for the next few days And now he's just Levi posing. poses to the camera as he's got a, Miracle down on the ground. That should be a nice picture there for uh, the Facebook. Hey, Finding horse photography. I'm sure he wants to take that back to DFW with him to hang that up, show him where Mr. Exclusive was getting down in Amarillo. As Mike James rolling away from what essentially looks to be a pin attempt here as we get a one, two, two Me count. Too. Miracle persistent. Shoulder up at two. That slam on the concrete had to take in a lot of the Miracle Mike James. See how he bounces back here against Levi. Like oh. you said, I know Miracle's trying to get that win here. 0-3 the top of Texas. Get back up on the boards to make his name, make his ranking back up here. Well, yeah. Levi Lucas wants to stop that at all costs. Oh, you know, oh to have two a shot solid against, slaps. Uh... Sean Lau once again for that Panhandle Championship. What a classic their first one was. Mike oh, James and yeah. Sean Lau in there. But let's not oh. let's not overlook Mike James's opponent, Levi Lucas, as he sends him hard into the buckle with a strong Irish whip. 
He is trying to still work in that right back. Here. That back, he's still working that back, slam to the outside. Miracle Mike taking a lot of punishment this evening. As Levi looks to keep dishing it. Irish whipping him back into the corner. Mike hit hard off the buckle yet again. The pain on that lower back has got to be immense. And he is just mocking him right now. You, you see this, right? Oh, 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 your back must be killing you. And that's what you get. When Levi's having the time of his hand. life. Levi is having the time of his life at the expense of Miracle Mike James this evening. And it's let's let let's not let the flamboyancy get too much in the way as he's in control. Boots of the midsection. Still, still feeling the sternum. I can tell you from experience, Miracle Mike James is not a man you want to upset. He will he can he can dish it out verbally, he can dish it out physically and Levi Lucas may want to stop while he's ahead. I seen a video this week of Miracle talking to a painting outside about who Levi Lucas was. I don't think that's any kind of gentleman I'd like to cross as Levi brings him back into the ring with a solid elbow to the back of the head. Levi Lucas. Now again. Interacting with this you see this is what these out of towners don't realize. You, you, oh, solid chop. You let the TOT Miracle taking advantage of the fan your, distraction. You let the TOT family get under your skin, and that's what's gonna cost you the, the W. And that's what he's learning right now. Never mind. Oh Levi rolling out the way. Miracle head first off the turnbuckle. He was going for that stinger splash, and Levi moved right out of the way. Nice! Like Oh, solid standing suplex by Levi Lucas as he looks to maybe capitalize on the pin attempt for a one, two count. Yet again, Miracle being persistent, getting the shoulder up even after all the punishment. That lower back's got to be killing him. Levi looking to capitalize at that at all expense. Uh-oh. Oh, oh he is, he's choking him out now. Wrenching on the neck of Mike. Mike might be fading a little bit here. Hold on. Fans are behind Miracle Mike this evening as Mike goes for it, a back elbow in the midsection. Last week we heard a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Dragon suplex dropping Mike on the back of his neck, the lower part of the back of the neck. God, yeah, one, I love this two, new competition oh. coming through Top of Texas Wrestling because we're seeing, you know, maneuvers and such that we don't normally see here in the Plex. Oh, hey, roll over one, two, hey. This is you're talking about new competition. Let's not disregard the regular competition of oh, Top no, of Texas. No, 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 no. Gentlemen, don't, we have in the back are hungry and ready to go. Don't don't get it don't get it twisted. I, I love the old competition, but a, a lot of our guys have, you know, been trained in that old school mentality but you get these guys from like dfw and out of state that that are setting that new mentality you get these two mentalities clashing it is just beautiful mike james with a good standing bridge flip <laughs> mule kick mule Put kick Mr. nicely exclusive done. on notice oh, of course rose america letting in some solid fun. leg kicks Working the inside of the, oh, duck under the roundhouse. Another, oh. no. Oh, right back on the lower back yet again. Mike gets folded like an accordion as Levi one, two. Mike kicks out again at two. I don't know the if that punishment was these men are putting on each other. Rolled out of that. That man rolled with the last bit of energy he has. See if he's mustering it back up. Exclusive seems to have him where he wants him this evening. Back in the headlock. Oh, back elbows again by Mike. He's still in it. Oh, back elbows again. Working there. back to the leg kicks. Can he get that roundhouse? Duck under again. Ducks the back elbow. Oh. Caught him up. Oh. DDT. Lifting oh. in pain. DDT on the oh, top of his head. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. I may or may not be a mark. Miracle out of instinct. 
Hey, I am as well in Miracle out of Instinct, landing a beautiful lifting impaler DDT on Levi. Leaving him stunned, giving me enough chance to breathe as the top of Texas Faithful look to get the Miracle back into the matchup. UT family trying to get Mike. And again, it's another case of just a couple of weeks ago, these fans hated Miracle Mike James. Tonight, they are in love with Miracle Mike James. I don't know. They if probably grew behind Miracle to get that first win on top of Texas as well. I don't know if it's something in the air. I don't know if you guys' as pollen is just that effective or what. But it, you know what? I got to give it to him. I, I, I want to see Miracle Mike James win here tonight. <laughs> oh! As do all of those Rockies, he's looking to make it. Oh, good counter. Levi throwing punches. Miracle having none of its solid, stiff forearms. That's oh, Miracle line. duck under. Oh, three forearms. Shoots him off the ropes. Oh, kitchen. Miracle with a me. jumping knee. Oh, jumping forearm. Miracle looks to rally back. Oh, spiding kick. Oh, variation of the stroke. One, two, Levi getting the shoulder up. That stroke variation was beautiful on the part of Mike James. Uh, he's got him up. Fireman's rolling carry position. Senton? Ooh, Mike James rolling Senton into a moonsault. Beautifully executed. One, two. His name is Jake not Logan. You can't Levi. do a moonsault. Oh, no, never mind. That's a lion salt, not a moon salt. Oi. 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 Hey, I miss Jake. Josh, okay? man. I miss Jake. Hey, man. Hey, man. We all miss Jake. Fight me. Hey, right, here we are. Back in the ring. Oh, we got to get near the brain buster. Center we of the ring. We were just talking about Eddie. Mike and Cassidy was a brain buster. Here. Almost Eddie like. That brain buster was enough to make Eddie Guerrero proud as well. Austin Aries, that's brain buster dropping him, scrambling the miracle a little bit. These here, the fans trying to give him a little bit of will to get back into it. I'm sure the man is a little bit stunned, dropped on the back of his neck three times oh, in this sure. matchup. Levi wanted to tune out the noise and get an exclusive W here in Amarillo. Up and over. Overhead suplex. Mike James. The stomp. Fade to black. Curve stomp. Three count. Miracle is on the board with his first win at top of Texas. Yeah, that over is. Over Levi. That Stiff. is. Stiff. You see me. That is just. That was. Oh, man. That has, has Mike James had a bad match yet here in top of Texas? No, sir. He has not win or loss. Mike James is going to put on a performance in front of this Amarillo crowd tonight. Just happened to go in his way a little bit better as he gets the win over Levi. It's a snail. No. It's a train. No, he's on the train. Oh, it's Hobo Man here on the Slamcast for top of Texas wrestling. Watch it with me. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. And it is for the top of Texas Panhandle Championship.
esto finalmente está pasando. This is finally happening. Alberto de la Cruz come to TOT, Top of Texas Pro Wrestling, to challenge against who? Sean Lau. And I see you have something very interesting because I am the Monterey Kid and I'm hungry for challenge. And let me tell you something, your TOT Panhandle Championship looks very good, very good for me. And I tell you, I know you. I know what how good you are, but you don't know me. That's the thing. But today you will know me, and you will be know de lo que soy capaz. Vas a entender por qué los de Monterrey no nos rajamos y aquí estamos. De la Cruz, aquí te duermes, papá. All right, De La Cruz is confident as ever making his COT debut going in for that top of Texas Panhandle Championship against Sean Lau. Here we go, both gentlemen. Working the inside, let's see. Our code of honor center of the ring, both men showing an ounce of respect. Here we go. Good friendly competition here in the, in the wrestling flex. Sean trying to get the crowd behind him. Alberto working them too. Both these gentlemen seem to be a little bit popular out here. This is going to be very Mexico interesting. Chant. To say the least. We get a Mexico chant. I'm ready. Sean Lau has been defending this Panhandle Championship, putting in work every single week here. Well, you know, he's got to... I hate to say it. He's got to kind of one-up oh. Hubble and Jordan Caleb's. Because Hoboman, Hoboman with a great lane. Hoboman came out here and he said that he was the working man's champion. He was the working panhandle champion. So I think Sean Lau has to come out here and prove that he can outwork everybody else as well. And I mean. Hey, Sean Lau. Sean Lau wanted to put in the work as well. He's certainly taking that. That Hobo Man statement to heart as he's been defending that top of Texas championship as much as he can there, that panhandle title. As yeah. he's got it hammerlocked behind the back here. Alberto counters off the road. Both men separate here. Looks like they respect each other a little bit here. Sean respect him enough to give him his distance. I, I've talked about this before and you can kind of see it here. There's, there's never usually a time when Sean Lau faces somebody his size and as of late he's been getting people his size it's either him versus somebody you know bigger than him or oh, him versus like 12 different people nip up out of the head this is there by sean lau hey i think regardless of the size we over here seeing the asian warrior put up some great performances i think sean is just in the peak getting ready to defend the title at all costs as alberto Looking to build up some steam here amongst our top of Texas faithful. I mean, we're going to get another handshake here. Oh, never mind. Back into it. Oh, Alberto turns it. Shoulder puck. Sean Loud throws it back at him. Let him know that handshake needs respect. Yelling out to be loud, be proud. Underneath, jump over. All right, Sean. Whoa. <laughs> Out of that hip Barman's takeover, oh, yes, nice. Takeover. Yes, sir, working into the arm. Got Alberto on the mat, letting him know that Sean's not going to be a pushover champion. This is not going to be an easy day for Alberto coming in. I don't know if the Monterey kid thought it was going to be a swift walk, but Asian Warriors got some other plans. And you see Red right in the face of the action, making sure everything's upheld. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to break some immersion here real quick. You know, Sean Lau... We, we know he's a student of the Top of Texas Training Academy. We're Ooh, under okay. one Daniel King. And, I mean, it was kind of weird for him because he got trained during the uh, oh. during the pandemic. So Both men drop kick counter Nick and hip ups. We are both right back in the center, back to stalemate. You mean handgun Daniel King? Oh, yeah. And, handgun oh, trained. Wow, raised up from the upgrade i mean he's handguns trained uh sean lao here trained tino valentino trained uh draven he
couple um, back lockups from German of their own. I've, I've Alberto seen some training oh, That was uh, interesting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Are we going to surfboard? Oh. Stretching the Asian warrior out. Alberto wants to take not only the top of Texas Panhandle title, but one of Sean Lau's arms home with him. Oh. He's looking to stretch the solar plexus back. Red right there on the action. Oh, stretching consistently, Sean. The Monterey Kid didn't come to play this evening. Wanting some of the pieces shiny gold, one of the workhorse championships out here in West Texas, the top of Texas Panhandle title. Want that big red strap, and I don't blame him. Almost everybody in West Texas has been has been a Panhandle champion once. Oh, some boy, chop. Oh, are they going to exchange chops? I was loving these happens. Let's see who turns mincemeat first, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, nope. the here we go. Zone. Here we go. This oh, is back like elbow, it. Sean. Oh, oh, Sean with an aggressive slap there, feeling a little spicy with a shoulder block into the corner. Oh, oh, oh! Shoulder block roll back, getting the crowd to be loud yet again. Another shoulder block into Alberto forward. in the One corner. Oh, it looks like a oh, oh to the hobo man. We get a little a little monkey. Nope, oh, 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 oh. slapped to the chest yet again by Alberto. I I have seen What's he going this... for here? Oh, <laughs> little head scissors take over there by Alberto. God, this match already, already. This, this is, is what's to be expected here at the top of Texas when the Panhandle title's on the line. Exactly. Our champions no come to show out, and our challengers come to show out even more. Jordan Caleb's called it the Workers' Championship, and, I mean, you look at the names of people who have held it in just recent times. Sean Lau, Samatamu, Jordan Caleb. Ooh, Code Red getting Alberto down nice. for a two count. Oh. Alberto, not one to stay down. Comes back with a drop kick to the miss of his own. Putting Sean Lau on his back. Again, name, <laughs> names just like I said. Samatamu, Jordan Caleb. Uh, Dr. Payne has held the championship. Of course, Jake Logan with the record of 14-time Panhandle champion. And it is just, you, you, you see what these guys, oh. Three amigos nicely done. Center of the ring counted. No, never mind. Only a two count by referee Red. Man, this, this is, this is why I'm so excited for this. For this Panhandle Championship. Because these guys just go at it. Sean Lau blocking the suplex attempt. Sean Lau punches to the midsection. Oh! off the drop kick to the gut, Alberto. De La Cruz has just been on top of his game here tonight. What a way to make your debut. Can you have a better opponent than Sean Lau in your debut match? Because both of these oh. Oh, knee drop. Gut buster right there on Sean Lau for a two count yeah, you yet see again. Him grabbing his, uh, grabbing the side there, grabbing almost like the ribs. That was nasty. Corner we go. Oh. Big Lariat into the corner. Another big splash. Oh. Sean now able to get out. Head of first the in the middle. Turnbuckle. Turnbuckle right there. Head first. Middle turnbuckle. Sean Lau. Ooh, Alberto. Oh. Super kick to the midsection. Sean Lau going in one. 
two two count for Sean Lau yet again. And here we go. We need the men. It looks like Alberto may still have some strength in there. Up. Oh. Up and over. Still has the hand hook there as well. What is he looking for here? Up. Oh. Time to climb the rope. A little bit old school. Into the leg scissors and oh. Trying to get the submission here? Don't know how deep he has that in, though. Man, these guys are just going at it. I, I love every minute of it. Both men not given an ounce. It's the triangle choke being applied in the center of the ring here by Sean Lau. Alberto looking to lift him up. Does he have the strength even after all the punishment? Uh, Gets him up yet again. Going for it yet trying. again. Uh, Oh, pushes. Oh, no, I don't think so. Nonetheless, no. grab the arm. Oh, oh Sean. Oh, oh. oh geez. Stomped out. Center of the ring. Right in the center of the chest. That, That is almost a lethal maneuver there. Ooh, Alberto with a body slam. Stupid. Oh. What is he thinking here? Oh, up to here? the top. Brett's rope. Sean Lau meets him. Oh, jump drag. Out. Leaping arm drag off the top. Sean looking one, two, two count yet again. Uh oh. What is Sean Lau Sean Lau here? rolling through. Moonsault. Oh, moonsault. One, two. Kick out at two and a half. Sean, what does Sean have to do to put Alberto away this evening? I don't know, man. Up. Oh, oh, here we are. Ooh. Oh, looks like he's going for a, maybe a knee gut buster of his own there. I don't know what he connected, but a two and a half. It was enough to put Alberto down for another two and a half count. These guys not giving an ounce, like he said, Irish whip. Close line. And they collide and they meet Ooh. in the middle. And Double that, cross body friend. in the middle. Both men. Down here is referee Red's going to implement a 10 count maybe. Oh, Alberto right back up. Oh, was able to get straight up from that one. No, well, not straight up. Alberto not showing an ounce of quit. These guys coming in are tougher than tough. Oh, Sean Lau. Not to want to be out for Wait, four. What is he doing? Him. Oh, what do you mean? Really, Sean bird. Lau. Tilt a whirl of head scissors. Taking Alberto over on his back. Sean Lau looking to build momentum. Oh, I'm a little off. Oh, we got the Harlem kick earlier. Sean Lau with the spin of Rooney. Up and oh. over. Oh, good block. Punch of his own. Sean Lau springboards in. Oh, look like a little catch there, Sean. Stuplex. Snap suplex. Oh, two and a half count yet again. Alberto, very persistent. The punishment these two men are dealing now. How much longer is this going to last? You know what? You ever hear that chant fight forever? I would I would go for that mm. for this one. This is this is fun. This, this one's just fun. Oh, is he going for size? Oh, going for the finish. Yep. Oh, he almost. Alberto, always the cunning Alberto, smacks to the back. Is Sean Lau cut off his check? There he is. Slice bread going over. No, no. Oh, no. Back elbows. Kick to the knee. Alberto kick to the midsection, sweeps the leg. Cobra Kai. Uh oh. And now roll up. Oh, one, two. Oh, no. Looks like a bit of miscommunication. There's Alberto locks in an arm bar. 
He does not Sean have Lyle that looks to be in a little bit of trouble. He does not have it's not that all the way, Sean. Looks to be fighting Never it. Never mind. There we go. Now he's got it. Now out. it's a better view. Stretched fully. I know another Alberto that used to do an arm bar, but I think we're back to the Connecticut references as he looks to wrench. The Asian warrior pulls back. Oh, what? Wait a minute. Ankle lock. Oh, no need to roll through. There's no need to mention that certain snow guy. Hey, we didn't mention we made references. What'd you say earlier? We were referring to them. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. And nonetheless, sliced bread. Oh, the, oh bounce off the road. Stunner. Stun dog millionaire. Center one, two, That's and it. three. Sean Lau retains yet again another successful defense. Again, again, I just gotta say, you ever heard that chant fight forever? I really wish we could have seen a little bit more of that one because that was just a master clash right there. Hey, Sean Lau taking punishment, dishing punishment, but nonetheless coming out with one of the most prestigious workhorse titles in the game today. The top of Texas Panhandle title retaining. Credit to Alberto. Nonetheless, the competition fears the competition between these two gentlemen. Sean Lau raising the belt in victory. What a hard part. What a hard fought defense this evening. Oh. Look over, maybe a show of sportsmanship. Nice. Hey, right, nice there we go. There. Good for these. Good for these gentlemen. Show of sportsmanship here in West Texas. That is one I would love to run back again. Let, 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 let's run that one back again. There we go. Let's get it one more time. Hey. This is your Top of Texas General Manager, J-Rock, here. Guys, I got a special announcement. Next week is going to be a big slam cast. You know why? Because it's Chewy's birthday bash. Yeah. And Chewy, I got you a real good gift. Well, I actually got you two gifts. And I hope you like them. You see, for your first gift, you'll be facing off against Big and Bad Blade. Yeah. I hope you like it. I picked it out especially for you. But if you don't like it, that's okay. I got a second. I got a backup gift just in case. You see, your buddy, Pierce Price, will defend the Top of Texas Heavyweight Championship against Sama Tamu. Yeah. And guess what? It's a last man standing match uh-huh so happy birthday chewy i hope you like your present see you next week
So, big news coming out of this one. We just heard from J-Rock. Next week, Chewie's birthday bash. And two huge main event matches have been signed. Chewie Martinez taking on Blade. And then Pierce Price defending the Top of Texas Heavyweight Championship against Sama Tamu in Last Man Standing. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Next week for che- Chewie's. What a birthday present from Rocky to Chewie there. Che- Happy oh, birthday. Go ahead and get on Big and Bad Blade one-on-one. That's next week. Let's not look overlook the big vibe. Another PFW talent coming in. We're going to make a no, name. Don't. Don't overlook Big Vibe Dylan Scott here. This man is... Tell you that. Man, something else. I mean, almost the same size as Chewy. I, I think he may have... Don't know if he finds somebody the same height. He might be a little bit taller. Let's see if that plays in his favor here. We know the tricks and tactics of Chewy and the Sultan. Oh, uh, yeah. You do, we do have Sultan out here. Oh, God bless I think him and the old ladies in the fan were yelling back and forth at each other of who was old. It was kind of interesting earlier. Sultan very aggressive when it comes to his age. It's cheery. Stuff and face in the corner. <laughs> Dylan Scott letting him know that you know, Amarillo is the turf. He's not ready to give up quite yet. Uh, Here we Martinez. are. I don't, I don't... Drew Martinez, another, another cat who's, you know, Veteran of the game, 16 years, well traveled. He's gone all across the globe and does not look to be stopping anytime soon. Chewie's been doing it for a long time. Next week, that birthday bash. Let's get ready to see how much longer he's doing it when Big and Bad Blade, as he gives Dustin Scott a heck of a stub in the back. Still another t shirt. Looks like it's time to get to business. The vibe, not one to be pressed. Oh, oh, <laughs> stiff forearm. Chewie says, give me one back. Dylan obliges. Oh, Chewie, another stiff forearm. There's just two big hosses trying to show dominance in the center of that ring. What I love, a big hoss fight. And it is I'm a telling you, meat slapping right meat in a hot West Texas building is nothing better. It's Chewie. Chewie wants a brief. Does Chewie not know there's no timeouts here? This isn't football, Captain. No, I'm sure he thinks that J Rock will come out here and be a puppet for him and, you know, make everything all right. But we've seen that that's not the case. Hey, watch for the timeout. Could be a sign. So any of the House of Strongstown members seem to be appearing at any time, causing chaos as Chewie Chop and Pounce and chop and punch and chop oh and dylan coming mind. back oh what's a mob dylan chop and punch of his of his own. <laughs> that man not one to be out stage tells chewy look open up that chest forearm chop there it is couple woos in the crowd here oh to the nature boy who's gonna have his final match this year can you believe he's getting back in the ring? <laughs> Boss man, him, him, him taking bumps at this point. We need a Chewy versus Rick Flair as Chewy breaking Ooh, Dylan Scott that, into that middle row. That rope. could be fun. Dirtiest player in the game. I'm telling the, you. The Chicano assassin. That could be fun. I need Sultan and Flair in a woo off. We need Sultan and Flair in a Sultan get out of here. <laughs> I see you and Rocky ain't good fans of the Sultan. The Sultan seems to be, I don't know, kind of kind of pushing his way to people having Scotty, Scotty Chuck and myself hold the ring ropes for him. I mean, I'm not trying to start no problems here with the House of Strong Style. It's Chewy with those big shoulders to the you know what, gut of right. Dylan's I don't want to start. Oh, big overhands. Oh. We Chewy about... having fun in there. Oh, God. Uh-oh. We were Let's, talking about that old oh. school style, and we're we're seeing it here in play with these two men. Is that that's all? Hey, these two gentlemen, big shots, big shots. These two gentlemen are brawling. As we get a count here, 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hand on the rope, Chewie. The ring veteran knowing where he's at at all times. Ring placement. Ooh, takes Dylan down. This isn't too, this isn't a 2K game. So these guys know their, walk. These guys know their ring placement. Chewie out here with a grapevine ankle lock as if his his three eyes mean something in the in the wrestling flex here today. Out here holding that ankle. Dylan Scott with a rope break. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Back to the old faithful here. I got something in my eye, ref. Ref, I got... Oh, no, never mind. I don't have any more. Did, did I just hear a We Want Parker? I, I think that's a first for a We Want Parker. Man, that's the respect they're showing Red out here after officiating all six matches of the year. Oh, Sultan. Well, Ring in the fair, neck of Dylan Scott. Parker is the hardest working referee in all of West Texas. And after choking him out... Chewie Martinez decides he's going to choke out big Dylan Scott here. Chewie playing a little dirty here. Him and the Sultan got some tactics. That house is strong style unit as a whole. Some of the toughest guys we got on the TOT roster, but I'm sure a lot of their past grievances are going to come back to bite them at some point. But Chewie seeming to ride the vibe here as he's choking out Dylan Scott on that middle rope. Fingers uh, in the mouth action. And you see that tag team strap right oh. there. Oh, wait, we got some big shots here. Big Dylan Scott coming Oh, Dylan. Dylan to the back. Clubbing blows, getting Chewy down to his stomach. Flat oh, on the mat, big oh, elbow. That was a stiff elbow. The big man dropping it down, telling Chewy all aboard the vibe is ready to deploy. If he only threw like 17 more of those, we may not have Chewy Martinez anymore. There it is. At this point, we might have Chewy with no back. There we are. Chewie getting back up to his feet. Dylan carrying him over. Trying what is this? Up. Oh, Chewie counters. Punches in the face. Chewie going up. Is he looking for that Death Valley? Oh, no. Uh, like he Dylan. was looking for the DVD. Oh, it's forearm of his own. Oh, solid forearms back and forth. The two giant men are just throwing clubbing blows back and forth. Oh, Chewie. Shot to the Oh, here in. we are. Stinger splash shot. in the corner. Picks him up. Oh, oh back suplex. Nope. Only a two count. Richard, of course, calling for the strong style. <laughs> Richard yelling out in strong style. Let's hope Chewie can use some of that build back up here against the big vibe. He's got him. Trying to Ooh, go for that club clubbing ball. overhand blows to the shoulder. Head off the turnbuckle. Dylan getting rocked here. Oh, Chewie looking at Red a little bit. Oh, Sultan's up on the apron, of course. Of course. Oh, oh, Chewie you choking him with that mask. God bless. Of course. Oh, Chewie calling for the end here. Uh-oh. Maybe time it's to call it a DVD. Uh, oh, no, wait. Oh, wow. Dylan lifts the big man oh. up. Face first. Five the check. check. There it is. One, two, three. Win. Dylan. God, <laughs> with a big upset over Chewie Martinez this evening. <laughs> You know, you know this is going to be great. This, and, and now he's got to deal with Big and Bad Blade next weekend. And he's got to deal I with... I don't envy Chewie Martinez. Happy birthday. You get big and black after the five man just got you. Big shots there. Congratulations to uh, Dylan Scott. And we'll see you next week in Slamcast. You're a Jewish big birthday bag. Take it easy.